Hey everybody, Andrew here. Um, I've got my Shape Oco 3, um, which I haven't used for a while, but I uh, am just getting back into a few things. I've been playing around with my other toy, which is a 100 watt laser cutter there. Uh, I thought I'd um, show you what I do in terms of some of the modifications that I've made uh, and uh, just how I do leveling and zeroing and that sort of stuff. So, um, first thing is I have my zero zero set to the um, bottom left. Uh, the reason I do that is just aligns with some of the software that I use. So zero zero is here. Um, and it uh, works very well for me. So what I've got here is a uh, some um, some plastic which is a, an, an end stop and I've installed uh, switches here and here uh, with the appropriate settings and so when that zeroes it hits there and um, you'll see in the operation how that works. Um, there are some changes you need to make in the Gerbil settings uh, to make it uh, home the right way uh, but that's reasonably straightforward. The other thing I've done is I've got um, some cable management here which is um, bits of split uh, pipe which you can put the cables in and um, I've put some uh, brackets uh, uh, mounted to the uh, metal frame no new holes just using existing holes uh, and uh, the same here using the uh, the new cover for the electronics using the existing hole uh, and some PVC piping uh, here and uh, another piece of PVC piping with a piece of dowel in there and a screw works really well uh, I have no problem with cable management um, I've also got a switch here which can turn on and off those uh, zeroing switches if I want to for some reason or homing switches um, what else so I have got this uh, awesome um, dust shoe assembly that was a Kickstarter project I forget the guy's name who made it but works really well um, sucks up all my dust keeps everything pretty tidy um, I do get uh, still debris and what I've done here is on the wasteboard I've put a second wasteboard and some rails and that creates a little ledge here where I can put my bit of uh, MDF uh, here which just pops off and you can see here I've got uh, a little sort of simple um, design which creates a little um, area for the dust and the and debris just to stay within the cutting area and there's room inside there for the uh, assembly to move backwards and forwards etc. So that all works really well. Um, I also use a dust collection um, cycl cyclonic action vacuumy thing so that works pretty good too so it keeps the uh, majority of the sawdust out of my vacuum cleaner. Okay so I think those are some of the mods I've made. I don't really use the rails that much although I have got them there. I find putting a piece of masking tape down stuck to the wasteboard with a bit of hot glue works really well um, and I just peel the tape off and uh, other than having a bit of hot glue on the wood uh, it holds it down very nicely indeed. So I'm uh, going to do some homing and some uh, uh, inlay work so I'm going to do some inlay work which I need to do some homing for uh, very shortly and what I do is I've got a uh, a one millimeter piece of metal touch plate um, and I've got a, a crocodile clip which I put on the spindle of the um, the the, uh, the router and um, my zeroing basically it will home the Z so the uh, router will hit the touch plate and go back up five millimeters that's a one millimeter plate so it actually comes up six millimeters off the material and then it will home to the front left so what I do is when I issue the $H command, the plate is under here, it'll home uh, to the depth of the, or height of the material, uh, it'll home to the uh, front left, and then I manually lower the Z 6mm and hit in uh, B, C and C uh, the button to zero the Z axis. And that in theory means that the Z is now the height of the material because it comes up 5 mil when it pulls back from the homing operation and the thickness of the one mil plate. And that's what I do and it works really really well. Uh, I also use um, uh, settings for uh, working position so that's G55 there and you'll see hopefully as I started off the homing operation um, and it doing what I want it to do uh, from the right height. 
All right, let's see how I go. Okay, uh, now I'm going to zero uh, for the material. Um, I've got my one millimeter touch plate uh, sitting right underneath the spindle and the crocodile clip attached to the spindle shaft. And I'm going to hit uh, dollar H. That's going to zero uh, the Z first and then it's going to move the carriage to the front left to zero at this point here. Okay, so Z is now six millimeters off the height of the material. So I'm just going to lower it by six millimeters and hit Z equals zero in B, C, and C just to uh, set that level to the correct position. Okay, so that's done. Uh, and now I'm going to lift it up um, 10 mil uh, just to clear the material. And I'll just move the carriage forward. Okay, so I'm I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm going to put the um, front uh, piece of MDF on there, this keeps all the material blowing around inside and clip that in place and hopefully you can see there I've got my machine set up to go uh, and I'm going to use a uh, G55 coordinate um, which is where I've got the material placed on the um, uh, board in terms of a working position and uh, this is using a 0.3 millimeter etching bit so I'm going to go a little crazy on time uh, but I want to do uh, an inlay um, and it's got some very fine uh, corners uh, so I'm using a very fine bit to do that it's going to take forever to do um, and then I'm going to use my laser cutter over here to uh, laser cut the uh, inlay material which is going to be a red beach um, and I've done that in the past it works uh, pretty well from an experiment perspective um, this will be the first real test. Okay, well, there's the finished article. Sorry about the sun strike, uh, but that's etched very nicely. Uh, and very little dirt or debris on the shape. Okay. Job done.